Once again, pioneers are getting ready for the COVID-19. But there's a very big question that I would like you to ask yourself. Which of these categories do you belong to? There's a whole lot of people who don't understand or even know exactly where they fit in. But in this video, we're going to look at these categories and find out exactly where you fit in and what to do next. See you soon. Yes, expectations are high. Everybody is waiting for Pine Network to get into the open mainnet. But exactly how do you fit in? In my opinion, I would say it is not just for you to start mining or continue mining. But what you should ask yourself is immediately the open mainnet is launched. Where do I fit in? There are different categories of people and different type of people you will find in the open mainnet. Currently, we have pioneers or people who are mining Pi all in the name of the one quick box. Immediately the mainnet is launched. These are the people who are going to offload exactly everything they have. They're going to offload and sell. We actually have people currently who are in a hurry to sell their pie, who are actually looking for buyers to sell their pie to. And this set of people are not that lucky because they have been getting into the hands of scammers. My opinion again, please do not sell your pie coin now. You can actually wait until the mainnet is launched. There are a whole lot of people out there telling you that they can buy or they want to buy your pie. Yes, some of them are genuine, most of them are not, most of them are scammers. Some of them just want to take the pie away from you so that when the open mainnet comes, they will have more value. Now the question is, if you sell your pie right now, would you be able to afford the pie when it eventually gets into the open mainnet? Let's do a little rough calculation. Currently, pie is worth nothing. We all know that, that pie is absolutely worth nothing. But when you look at the price at the IOU market where it is being traded, you will find out that it is actually fluctuating between $23 to $56. Would you rather let your pie go now that you think it's worth nothing or wait until that value becomes a reality? The other category of people that we have are people who genuinely are mining pie and waiting for the value to come when the open mainnet is launched. They will have this category of people who just downloaded the app, mining the coin, but they are absolutely doing nothing with it. This set of people do not trust the network. This set of people do not trust the process. They are not even interested in seeing it through. Then there is this other set of people who repeatedly are telling other people and also putting on social media that the Pi Network is a scam. Remember, a lot was said when Bitcoin was coming up. A lot of people said it was scam. A lot of people said not to trust the network or even trust the process. A lot of people didn't even believe in cryptocurrency as a whole. But today, cryptocurrency has taken over. Cryptocurrency has come to stay. And today, Bitcoin is respected. Now, let me ask you a question. If the Pi network is a scam, why are there scammers out there trying to take your coin from you and not give you value for it? Why are there people out there who believe that this project will not work, but yet they are mining? Another question I would like to ask is this. Why did some reputable exchanges list Pi for IOU trading? I don't believe that the owner of Hobie, who happens to be the owner of USDT and also TRX cryptocurrencies, would actually put his name on the line. I don't believe that he would actually list a fake coin or be part of a fake project. I know a lot of you are skeptical about it, but this is what I'm saying. Number one, you are not paying anything to mine. Number two, it actually costs you nothing. No exchange of money has been done since you've started mining. Number three, it does not take any amount of power away from your mobile phone. Number four, there are a lot of other places that you have submitted your information to without even getting any result from. Then the other funny part is this. It takes you literally less than five seconds to tap the button and keep mining. So if you want my opinion in this, I would say, since we're already here and we're heading towards the open mainnet, everything that they have said that would encourage us to get into the open mainnet, like the 
mass KYC, like verifications, all that is in progress already. The Pi Network core team actually said that the KYC and the development of other apps are necessary. And these are the two elements that are necessary for us to move from the enclosed mainnet into the open mainnet. As it is of today, a whole lot of apps and dApps have been developed. A lot of hackathons have been done successfully. This is an indication that everything in terms of apps development for the ecosystem of this Pi Network system is in progress. So we have covered that. And the other angle is this, the KYC. A lot of people have been complaining about it. A lot of people have issues about it. But currently, we have more people that have been KYC'd and a lot more on the pipeline. So this is actually a step towards progress. The project is not a joke. So don't see it as a sprint, but see it as a race. For me, it's a marathon. We have to build the value and we have to build the price. In my next video, I'll be talking about the difference between the price and the value of the Pi Network coin. I would like you to take a deep breath and ask yourself, where do I belong? Do I want to sell off fast? Do I want to hold for value? Do I want to exchange my Pi for goods and services? Do I want to accept Pi for goods and services that I have? Do I want to actually trade to get more value? Do I want to sell off and then buy later when I can't afford it? All this is something that you should look into and then consider before you make any decision either to stop mining or to continue mining. But for me, I have a Telegram channel that I've opened up and I'm encouraging a lot of people to come there so that we can have a discussion of what is going to happen next. When the Pi releases the open mainnet, what do you do next? Are you part of those people that is going to jump on the bad one gun and start selling off immediately just to have some money in your pocket? Or are you going to be part of those people who would rather hold on to it or rather trade what they have so that they can have more, increase their value, increase the capacity of their wallet, increase their portfolio, and then gain more? You obviously want to make money. You obviously want to be a millionaire, but take the right steps. See you in the next video.